Hello you guys. So today I thought it'd be a good idea to make a video about being here at Fort Wainwright, Alaska and some of the places that you may frequent while you're here. So I'm sure I'm like everybody else. When you're going to a new military base, you want to know what certain places look like. If that sounds strange. I mean, but that's how I am because for some odd reason, when I went to my first duty station at Fort Liberty, I was expecting, for example, I was expecting that the commissary and everything looked the same when I got to Fort Moore. And I was surprised to see that it was totally different, that the commissary at Fort Liberty was like way bigger than I come to Fort Moore. And I'm like, this is not what I'm used to. I'm thinking that everything looks about the same. And of course, now, over a decade later, I realized that just like every military base, how they do things is different. Everything looks different too. So today I just wanted to make a small video and show you guys some of the places that you would frequent while you're on Fort Wayne, right? Whether it's the commissary, the PX, the shop at, just to show you how it would look before you get here because i wanted to know before i got here i wanted to know how everything looked so i'm sure there's other people that feels the same way that i do so let's get ready with the video so the first place i'm just going to show you a little bit of is the doctor's office slash the hospital um this is probably the first time um that i've been to a military base where like the clinics and the hospital is in the same place i think fort moore is like that too but i never really went to the hospital doctor when i was stationed at fort moore i always did everything off post because it was easier that way to do it off post i think i went to the emergency room like one time the whole time that i had been there and that was for my third daughter carter she still happened to get sick on new year's eve out of all days but that was probably the only time that I've ever went there. Also, when we had to do the EFMP check, like all of us had to go get checked. I did that. So I'm lying. I've been there twice my whole time that I was there. Um, I know that at Fort Liberty, you have like Womack, you have the hospital that's by itself, but you have separate clinics. Well, at Fort Wayne, right? You do have the hospital, of course. So in the video, I take this today because i had to do labs earlier and pretty much it's just the front of the clinic so whenever you have a doctor's appointment and you have to go to the clinic this is the part that you're going to be walking into i kind of didn't want to like shoot inside because i didn't want people looking at me crazy like okay why this girl got a camera up in the clinic so i didn't do that but actually on the other side is the emergency department so yeah, it's pretty much one big building. You have the first side that's gonna be where you would just go for your regular doctor's office visits. And then you have the back of the hospital, which would be the emergency side. All right, so as you can see, that's the hotel over there. And I moved the camera like super fast. I don't know why, but it's me and my daughter Carter. I took this the other night we were headed to the px for some candles now inside this px for food restaurants you're gonna have loaded fries subway send your mousse and popeyes and of course you know every military base gonna have a starbucks we were coming in here around like 7 30 and it closes at eight so as you can see it's really not nobody or really nothing in there right now but also there is a place to get a haircut it's a gnc in there a military clothing and some more places but i can't remember right now um as you see the ps got their halloween decor up um this px recently got remodeled last year when we first got here in 2021 it was not this spacious not this big so a lot of remodeling 
went on with this px last summer so they extended it made it more spacious wide and it has a huge variety of things in here i really do love this px a lot of course they have the new self checkout like every other px does um all the people i know here that work here are like super duper nice so yeah here is the px all right so this is me and my little mini we're on our way to the commissary and as we're leaving now you can see starbucks over there stars and stripes and also military clothing is over there now that is a new building that's under construction i for sure don't know what it is but what i've heard from other people that it's going to be an indoor water park that should be open in december now here we've made it to the commissary of course the commissary and px are connected to each other we're going up to the door it was so cold that night it literally had snowed earlier and some of the snow had melted but it was like super cold it was around like 18 19 degrees this night that we had went to the commissary So we're inside and as you can see the Halloween decor. I really love this commissary, it's really nice. I, it has a huge variety of things and I never have a problem finding anything while I'm here. I love it. So next we have the new community center they just built. I went by so fast, but it's gonna have arcade games, um, a bar, restaurant, stuff for the kids to do. That's gonna be nice. Also, there is Burger King all the way over there. Yes, we do have a Burger King. Also, Papa John's. I swear I made this place so rich. I was buying pizzas like every weekend until they put a Hunt's Pizza in the shopette. And that brings me to the shopette. I am here almost every day my husband definitely is here every day because we live in denali village which is like a minute from the shop and i love it so much we can walk to it so of course here this one has been remodeled this past summer as well it's a hunt's pizza a subway in there of course you go snack avenue i mean my kids really love the shop it is super nice and always fully stocked so yep here's the shop here on post So I'm hoping that this video was very helpful to you guys. I wish somebody had it did this video like for me before I came here. So I would get a chance to see what things look like. For when I Before I came here, all the videos that I saw on Fort Wayne Wright was kind of like outdated from like years ago. And they have done a lot of new things with the post since, I mean, the last three years that I've been here, they've added new things as you see in the video. So I'm hoping that it's helped people. Also, I, just to go with some questions that I had, guys. I know I had a comment the other day of someone saying, like, I was trying to stay updated to see had you left yet. No, I am still here. I'm still here fighting with the cold. It is 17 degrees right now. Everything is like frost outside, like the trees frost. It's ice on the road but it's not that bad and apparently Sunday night is supposed to be like a bad snowstorm and then rain on Monday on top of that so the kids probably don't have school on Monday and I was telling my husband like you need to go to like get some food and stuff like you probably gonna be stuck in the house for like two or three days why am I panicking like this didn't happen in 2021 literally it's a repeat the weather like the universe said before you leave here we're going to make it memorable so when we first got here we went through something similar and now that we're leaving here here comes the bad winter storms like it was not this cold in october last year or the year before last it was an ice fog outside this morning it's never an ice fog this early so for all the people who's going to be coming to fort wayne right in the next few months be prepared 
it looks like it's about to be a bad winter. It looked like it's about to be a flashback of 2021. That was the worst winter. Snow lasted on the roads forever. And it looks like this one is about to be the same. Yeah, so we got to prepare ourselves for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave comments. I will try my best to get back to you as quick as I can. For some reason, I miss a lot of comments and I've looked, noticed, I'm like sometime a month and weeks later, I do apologize, but please leave comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Bye.